the sweet sounds of an Electromotive SD40-2. The SD stands for Special Duty, and today, this engine is assisting in a somewhat unconventional task. Nearly half a mile away from the head end of this train, you can see a crew repairing a covered hopper with a heavy wrecker and small excavator. When I got the drone over this, it appeared that wrecker was doing the lifting while the excavator stabilized the car. This piece of rolling stock weighs nearly 56,000 pounds when it's not loaded. The machines would soon be used to pull one of the trucks from under this covered hopper. These workers were called after an incident in Pendleton, South Carolina. Now, Pendleton is in the northwestern part of the state, not far from the border with Georgia. The incident happened on Thursday, June 22, 2023, and I was here the following morning. This is Norfolk Southern Territory. Several miles north, the tracks here branch off of the main line that goes to Greenville, South Carolina. One of the major railroad customers in Pendleton is a Michelin tire plant. You can see it in the distance. The rails that split off to the right lead to the plant. The covered hopper here usually carries carbon black, which is used in the tire manufacturing process, and it's really messy stuff. Most of what I saw was work being done on the car's truck and wheels. A center pin aligns the truck to the car. The men would eventually get everything secured under here so the car could move again. Pulling ahead about half a car. Easy or what? No, just a regular half car between. No, we got everything rehooked and everything back on the road. After all that, it looked and sounded like whatever they did worked. The covered hopper was rolling. It was now time for the heavy equipment to move out. This is definitely the first time I've seen a tow truck used to repair a rail car, but that doesn't mean it's not uncommon. In fact, I believe the company that operates this truck actually specializes in railroad repairs. I would imagine a wrecker like this would be able to navigate the back roads around here better than a big crane. Back at the front of the train, this old school crossing belt had been ringing for a long time. Meanwhile, these engines were actually brought up from Gainesville, Georgia to help out. That's more than 70 miles away. But now, it was time for the conductor to uncouple them from the train. Another crew would take it from here. These guys were headed home. Of course, I'll be on the lookout for exactly how this car was damaged. Anyway, that's it for now. As always, thanks for watching.